Okay, ladies, it's going to look a little bouncy, but like I told you guys, I'm not feeling too hot. This is me, all my new people. I can't even tell you what the hell's wrong with me because we don't know what the hell's wrong with me yet. I'm going to see some specialists. I was at the hospital last week, Tuesday. I think I got out Friday. Um, tomorrow will be day 21 of the mysterious whatever the hell this all is. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys. I'm super excited. I had to make some adjustments to my Franklin Covey system. Heartbreak is the word that I'm going to use. Yeah, I know that sounds very extreme, but it's heartbreak because that Tyler binder, I really love it. I love that Tyler binder. I'm shocked. But the space that it takes and the extra weight that it was putting on my right side, even on my left, because now I'm starting to show still have movement in my left, but I'm, I can tell that it's starting to get some of those similar feelings that my right one's been getting. So trying to be proactive. I did get a new Dagny Dover. I'll go over that. It's called Indie Small Bag. So that is what she looks like. I got the black one. I'll do a review. I did record a review um, yesterday or the day before, and then I realized this one's pretty shitty because I forgot about the pocket. So I'm like giving you half-ass information, but I was out of breath, really not feeling good, and I was like, I just need to do a different review. So I'll do a different one about the indie backpack, the small size. The medium one is not out yet, but as soon as that medium comes back out and is in stock, I am planning 200% on getting that one so I can show it to you guys. But anyways, let's dive into my planner, what I decided to do in order to compromise, knowing that I don't really have muscle movement and can't pick up heavy things on my right side, okay? So here we go. So this is what it looks like. I went with the Anna Blue. So I have this little binder. She's been in the closet. Maybe it's a he. I don't know. You guys tell me if we should make it a he or a she. Either way, Anna. So maybe a girl, just Anna. So you can see I've got it pretty stacked, but this is a lot less than what I was carrying in the Tyler binder. So it's a snap. This is the classic size. Those of you that are new to Franklin Covey system, uh, Covey, for some of you guys, you guys know my accent and I just kind of pronounce things different and I use different language. But this is gonna have seven rings. That is how you can tell it is the classic size. So wanna show you guys what I did. I did have these in the closet. Um, I was trying to clean up my closet last week a little bit. So S gel Sharpies. I have not 100% tried it yet, but I love the way it aesthetically looks right there, so I'm keeping it there. I've got my two Ollie clips. Something I noticed about this binder, so I'm gonna give you guys the pros and the cons, like I do, shoot you damn straight. This, so I love having the zipper pouch because this is where I'm keeping my stickers. And if you go to my Instagram account, you can also see I've been putting some stickers on my planner, but I love the way that that fits, it's perfect. I have transparent, uh, post-it notes. These are just, these aren't anything fancy, you guys. They're just the post-it brand transparent notes. So I picked those up, use a Sharpie fine, extra fine point on those. Have a quote card. So cleaning out some of my planner stuff, I forgot that I had some of these quote cards. So I decided, oh, what the hell, put it in there. Why not at this point? And then I have my um, square card. I only have one left of these, so I need to replenish it. I'll do that this coming up weekend. And then I have the post-it tabs, just simple. Uh, the planner babe. So I am also using my happy planner. You guys will be excited to know I dusted that sucker off. I'm going to be using my happy planner as the, um, social media. So like for my social media for work and stuff, my classic size. So there's a discount code that she gave me for purchasing and there's my little green post-it notes. So uh, something I noticed, um, interesting, because originally I was planning on seeing if I could use my binder as my wallet for the time being. The answer to that is honestly, be, when you're not used to like keeping so condensed, because I do like to kind of bulk up my stuff, um, I had to go into just my Kate Spade smaller wallet to keep my credit card stuff. So there, that's going to work for right now. It did not, it wasn't really conducive to all of this space. And if I put money, it was just going to get messy in my credit cards and all that. Pockets here. So things I could do with or without all these pockets right here. 
I'm spoiled because I love, love, love the setup of the Tyler binder, how this area is just bigger. It's gonna be taller because it's a zip around. So you're losing about this much space. It just seems to be wider, but for the sake of right now, this is gonna work. And I love the, the Anna binder. One thing I got the first, kind of the first round when Anna binders first came out, some of their other colors. I love the texture. So the texture is really pretty. This one is what's called structured. So structure is just that, you know, it, it's got, it's not loose and wobbly. It's got the texture. It's got the stitching all the way around here, which I really like. It's got the stitching back here. It's got this pocket. I don't know what I'm going to end up using this pocket for. I can't tell you as of today and right now, nothing. And I don't know that I will simply because I am very, I don't know, details matter to me. And knowing that this could possibly stretch out just where it would hang like that or the pocket would stretch, I think it would take away from just the pretty of the binder overall. So that is what she looks like. Things that are staying the same. So I still have my task cards. These are task cards that I made myself. Just label maker, laminating machine. I put my fortune cookie right there. You guys are going to see I've got to switch the phone from hand to hand because like right now it's already hurting. Okay, so just forgive the wobbly progress, not perfection is what we're all about on this damn channel. Have my license stuff there. Color coordinating. So I still have my color coordinating pens for weight purposes. I did take out all the extra highlighters that I don't need. So I'm only keeping a pink right here and then I have a yellow right here. But the color coding um, pens are staying. And then my X Factor. If you want to check out what X Factor is, it's kind of like a Sam made up this shit thing. But there it is. And then my small whiteout. So it's like a micro whiteout and a pencil. I have not been biting my nails. You guys will be excited. So that's going to start looking better. I have my car registration for the new car that um, I need to finish. I got um, MRI results and all that stuff. So this is still in my folder of review and pay. Still have to get the login and the passwords entered in. I don't have anything to be mailed right now, but tomorrow I will have things to be mailed because I've got to pay some bills in a little while. Still, this stayed the same. So important contact cards, um, my real estate ones, the BNI group that I've been interviewing with, and then Anthony's one of the State Farm. Um, he's the agent for that chapter, but that's what I have right there. Things that I have condensed here. So my monthly, so there's my monthly tab. I'll put what stores, just give me a little bit, guys, again, because it's a little bit cattywampus today, but June. So still have June calendar, right? Read before bed. So these were, when I was cleaning things out, I noticed that I had these from cloth and paper. Um, so I'm just going to, I want to start reading before bed. As of right now, it hurts a little bit on my head to read. So compromise, right, is going to be audible. So I can put audible at least for a few minutes. Things that we have is the uh, kids' library. So they're doing a reading contest for um, the library. So I used one of those transparent um, post-it notes because the contest is May through July. So I'm like, you know what? This is perfect because I, when I'm done here with June, I'm just going to carry that and put it over to July. But it's got the logins and passwords that I need. The prayers are staying the same. And then July. So I am starting to work on July you can see that there's um, holiday change I added because trash day for us is usually Tuesday, but because of the holiday 4th of July, they changed it for our area. So I made a note right there so I don't forget. Uh, might be pet sitting, so there's that memo still that's been on there. And then just kind of some pickups. I will be updating July as we go. And then as of right now, the only thing I have in August monthly is the um, some stuff that I need to do for my friend Jen, but then Zeppelin's vaccinations are due the 18th. So this one a couple weeks ago I put there, but we're keeping it. Okay, the next thing. So weekly tab. We're going to go to weekly real quick. So this is where we're at. I updated this at the hospital and just color coordinated a little bit different. So flip house I'm doing to red just because now I'm getting in the red. We really need to get that shit up and going and done and sold. So there it is. Um, I've got BNI group on Wednesday. I've got my compass card. This has not changed because with everything going on, I think it's better just to have something to stay there and focus towards, but I'm not going to try to change too much. I'm trying to keep things as simple as I can right now while we don't know what's going on. Thursday, as of right now, is still my day off. Friday, I don't have anything. David, so our landscape project starts today and it'll be done supposedly by Friday. It might be a little bit longer, but 
Um, and then I need to create an update on Saturday blog post. I'm blocking just three hours for that. It's something I can type um, through the iPad or just even do voiceover and then have somebody type it for me. And then um, I put though no specific time because right now y'all we are living balls to the wall crazy of when I feel okay we, I feel okay and when I don't I don't and then when I nap I nap and yeah so work tab for the week or sorry the week tab is right there message all dads because it's gonna be Father's Day need to do that and then June I already am starting so next week I already know some basic things that need to be on there so I've added those daily tab so under the daily tab here is for Friday. So this is what Friday looked like. I was supposed to call all of these specialists, but um, we didn't leave the hospital until afternoon. So instead I moved them. I am keeping up with my scripture. That is something I think is good for me right now. Got those cute little planner stickers and I'm going to move this real quick. I did update my color coding. So I have this week's coding. That's what they're going to look like. And then I updated these, um, post it just carryovers because these are things I'm falling short on and then just my June goals for the month. It's interesting because right now with just everything I'm having to give myself some grace. I'm not used to not working so much. Highlighted the quotes like I normally do and then Saturday it was just very easy post to YouTube. Clearly running a damn day behind but whatever. Sunday did not. I rested and then here we go today. So now I've got the specialist. So I've left a message for Midwestern already for my eyes. I've got these other ones I'm about to start doing. And then I'm going to do my scripture. I need to refill Hayden's prescription. So there's a little sticker um, for his mood stabilizer. And then, um, or sorry, for the medicine to sleep. And then post office, I've got to go to Hayden. This is going to get delegated later this week already because I just cannot drive at the moment. So I'll end up forwarding that to another day and then uploading and then Hayden's counseling call. So the week, again, looks simple. It doesn't have to look overcomplicated, right? Sometimes we just don't even know what hell direction we're going, and that's okay. As of right now, I'm taking baby steps, so I just put the stickers in basic spaces. I know it's going to be a win if I can write my scriptures down, um, wash the sheets, so Sunday, that's going to be the plan. And I've got Hayden's counseling. So as of right now, that's what it looks like. My health tracker, I just updated with a new post-it note right here. I will update this. Um, my goal right now is just honestly to stay drinking water so my medicine doesn't uh, kill my kidneys and also just to rest and do my Audible book. So that's what it'll be filled at. I will update my Instagram account uh, to show you guys that. Other than that, I've kept everything simple. I kept a couple pages of each of the other stuff, like the project management, whatever, um, but I'm just leaving it simple. This is the dashboard that I picked from an Etsy store. I got a whole punch it this week, and then I'm going to add it because I figured the blues look beautiful with this. And then the one other thing that I didn't necessarily, I don't know, I wish it would have had... The, but okay, let me not say this. I wish because a Tyler binder is larger, I'm used to it. This binder, like the envelopes would stick out. So I just have to put shorter envelopes for bills, which is not a big deal. But that just kind of, again, because I am completely biased to the Tyler binder now. I love it. I love it. I love it. But this one is also fantastic in a sense that it allows me to still have my, it doesn't make me compromise what I love, which is being in my planner right? So I'm grateful for that. And the rings are smaller, so it is lighter weight. Fits in my purse right now, the Dagny. So that's positive. And I mean, who can really argue with an immaculate color like that? Because she's damn badass. So with that said, that is what I have for you guys. There's the Dagny. I'm going to take a small break. And if you have any questions at all, want to talk about marriage, life, divorce, business, what it's like to have the right side of your body, not, um, coordinate itself well and what that looks like and feels like because this is definitely some struggles and challenges I have never experienced. Um, hard days. I'm learning what you can do and what you can't do. Humility, um, faith, like all of those things. So anything you want to talk about, let me know. I love you. I see you. And as always, thank you for sharing this channel. Um, yep. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye.